in this video i'm going to reveal secrets that will allow you to get your amazon orders customer emails where you can use them to promote your website to promote your other products and this is an asset that you can use to make more money and cross sell your current amazon customers more products Okay, so before we start, I have to make sure that you understand that it's against TOS to do what we are doing here, against Amazon Terms of Service, because we didn't get the exact approval from the customer to take the email and actually uh, send them email. So, of course, I never really recommend to do things like that, but in some cases, you will need to do whatever the reasons you have. It's your own choice and it's under your responsibility. I only show you how to do it, but I'm not really giving you any advice to do it or not to do it it's up to you your responsibility um and the appropriate way of course it's to insert to collect their email now amazon also released a new tool that allows us to uh, send emails directly to customers but it's through the amazon system and i'm sure we will have some limitations doing it with this method so still wanted to show you how to do it directly with your own control and this is uh you know customers data that you worked hard to uh, you paid a lot of money for advertising and some other stuff to get those customers and those orders and i think that amazon should give us the ability to use those customers uh based to promote other products or whatever or uh reasons to uh have their emails so uh the first method is through tax jar and i use both methods and i don't have my uh tax jar account active anymore so i'm just gonna tell you theoretically how it works you can find it easily uh, so basically you have to log in into your tax jar account tax jar for those that don't know it's a tool that helps you automate some tax reports and uh, you know having a good smooth connections to uh, QuickBooks and other tax softwares so um, it's a useful tool that I used before now I'm not using them I'm using a, a better solution for me and uh, one of the tax jar option is to download all your customers orders customers data um, and when you have subscription, they uh, give you a report which would look like something like this. It will give you the provider, the order number, the transaction, the customer name, the customer name, which is super important, doesn't give us any email, but it gives us their, their address. It gives us their shopping, the city, the zip code, all the full address. Once you have the full address, you can go to data finder, upload the, this tool, first create your own account. I will log into my own account here. If you guys enjoy the content that I'm working very hard to provide and produce for you for free, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment with any feedback or questions do you have because I personally reply to every comment and I will also appreciate your support by checking the links and the sponsors in the description below. That's the only way that we keep this channel alive. Okay, and then when you actually need to um, run the file, you're going to do the following. You're going to select the file that you have, Excel or CSV in our case. Then you're going to choose what kind of uh, uh, input type of your records, what you have. So we have address and we have email, the, the first, I'm sorry, we have first and last name and we have the address, right? Then we're going to choose what we want to, um, what kind of data we need and in our case it will be for customers email around seven uh, cents or 1.5 credits um, or you can get their phone number and i think it's a little more expensive you can also get their facebook id for remarketing or social media uh, things and um, you only pay for uh, the data that they were able to find so let's say for example you upload 1000 lines of orders and they found only 400 you only pay for those 400 so for the matched records of course and that's a very powerful way and you can run your own um uh email marketing campaign you can even do postcard campaign without the data finder just using the tax jar data so this is a very good way now if you want to do it in a easier way and more effective way you can do it through soho so it's a crm system and um it's a tool that enable you to do automations and stuff like that but we're not going to use this tool for uh, the main purposes of them like automating things and uh, having a crm system but to have the 
customers data um, so you can do it using again uh, getting all the customer information automatically like you did with TaxJar, just with Zoho. But with Zoho, you have to make sure that you enable taxes and settings. I think that they are obligated to give this information, customer name, and address full customer data to tax purposes. They have to provide it so they cannot eliminate. And they still give it through API to Zoho and TaxJar. It might be not available in the future, but currently it is available. Then you have to add Amazon integration under e-commerce, create multiple warehouses, map the FBA warehouse to the created warehouse, and make sure you choose confirmed and fulfilled to, peel, to pull in the order data. So it will only pull data for new customers, not for previous ones like stock jar. So you can choose these two options and see which one is the best for you. But this is how you do it. And it's possible and it's still working as of September, October, actually now almost uh, 2022. Now, again, it's against the OS. So if you do something like that, do it carefully. I was thinking twice before uploading and creating this video. But I said, you know what? It's your choice. It's your call whether to, uh, you know, want something like that or not. And, you know, if you like this type of video um, with me really sharing details and secrets that kind of not all the time are like uh, white hat like I do and operate in my business, let me know because I'm in touch with a lot of sellers and obviously I'm not going to share anything that uh, would, uh, you know, without anyone approval. But still, I have, uh, I'm talking to a lot of sellers and I have a lot of people in my network and we kind of, uh, you know, give each other tips and tricks that I'm not always sharing here on the YouTube channel. Um, as well as our Facebook group, we share there some tips that I'm not sharing here. So make sure you're part of this group. Uh, links is in the description. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next video.